What's going on guys, Boris290 coming at you with a, uh, not an R6 video, uh, that you guys, a Rainbow Six video that you guys might be expecting, you know, you're looking at the gameplay and you're like, oh sweet, you know, another R6 video, uh, you know, a little break from The Last of Us Part 2, actually, uh, <laughs> jokes on you guys, this video is about The Last of Us Part 2, um, this is my, like, official review, my official, um, Unraw review what you guys got after the game and those in the end credits was my just raw reaction after finishing the game um, You know this is I think I finished it um, Thursday of June 25th or Friday it was either Thursday the 25th Friday the 26th or Saturday the 26th it was somewhere on the weekend like towards the beginning. I'm pretty sure it was Friday or Thursday. But this is my reaction. Um like you know, well this is my this is my review of the game playing through it um the next Monday, the 29th. I don't know if all the videos will be out by then, but uh, I plan on releasing this after um <clears throat> after I get all of the episodes out, uh, so you guys can, you know, when, you know, this, this video is going to contain spoilers of the game, so, uh, I would have given you guys the chance to, um, watch the playthrough, and not just, you know, throw out spoilers and ruin the playthrough for you guys, uh, so, I don't know when this video is going to come out, but, it is, like, the 29th when I'm doing this. Uh, the game came out the 19th of this month. Um, I really want to get all the, the episodes out before the end of the month. Uh, you know. So we can get on to new things. You know, some Rainbow Six with the boys. Uh, I've been playing a lot with them lately. Been playing a lot of Madden with Gabe. Um, you know, and then we have Ghost of Tsushima coming out the 17th of uh, July. So mark your calendars for that. So yeah, there there's all that fun funness that's going to be happening, um, but you know, I just figured I'd, I was going to, I was thinking about doing this over like, some new game plus, uh, gameplay, but I just, mm, not feeling it, not feeling, not feeling it really, um, and you know, that, that's kind of, that, that's one of the reasons, you know, that, that's something, uh, to uh, start up on, I guess, uh, on this playthrough. Hold on, let me let me get something real quick. You guys stay right there. All right. Um. All right. Here we go. So, Last of Us Part Two. Uh, Naughty Dog. <sighs> Was it uh, Arnita? Or I, I can never remember her name to save my life. Uh. Anita or whatever the fuck her name is. Scar Scarhesian. Um and Neil Drunkman. Or is you know, everyone in the uh The Last of Us fan base has been calling him Cuckman. And I honestly don't blame him. And uh just so just to let you guys know, I mean I've I've watched other review videos, I've watched what everyone thinks. Um, there's not someone, you know, who's completely, you know, taken over my train of thought, you know, my opinion of the game, this is, like, this is just my opinion. May, like, have they influenced me? Yes, for sure. You know, and that's, uh, with anyone, really, like, when you're, like, I'm not gonna let their influence 
cloud what I, you know, what I wit, like, what I played through, what I witnessed. Um, I know what I saw, I know what I played. Um, I played a really good game, gameplay-wise. Just, you know, game gameplay-wise. I want, I want to make that as clear as possible. Gameplay. So you guys can't misquote me on it. Um. Oh, okay. So I can't remember what I rated. Um, rated it. You know, my raw reaction. I can't remember what I gave it. But looking back, listening to some other people, taking some different perspectives. You know, tossing around really thinking about I've really thought about the last was part two ever since I got done playing with it I've really thought about it um so rating it now I honestly don't know how IGN gave it a 10 out of 10 um I would give it like a, a 4 okay the story was just all over the place. And I know some people are like, well, you know, story's not everything. Mm. I don't think you realize what what gaming company you're talking like what studio you're talking about here. This is Naughty Dog, right? Same people who made Uncharted. The same people who made the first Last of Us. And I don't I don't know if you guys remember right, but I loved I loved the first one. I had no complaints about the first one, story wise. Gameplay, you know, I did bug out a couple times, but that you know, that it was a really good game for its time. So, and you kinda have to expect some of the, some bugs, you know. Um with it being released in twenty thirteen. And yeah, I played the remastered, and they fi yeah they fixed some of the bugs, but it's just like you know, um. But I loved the game. I loved the Uncharted series. I, the story. I loved. I loved the story of Uncharted. I loved the first, you know, and yeah, you know, like you got you got the the generic zombie finding a cure thing, you know, cool and all. But then you have. The the big the big reason why I loved why I just I loved the first Last of Us was the the growth of Ellie and Joel's relationship as they travel across the country. Like you can't I, I like I honestly do not think any other gaming studio could replicate what Naughty Dog did with that game. It was like, you know, Troy, Troy Baker, Ashley Johnson, like, amazing for that game. Like, as, as if you guys watch the, uh, the first, the first Last of Us, like, the making, like Neil Drunkman said, or Druckman, sorry, I keep adding the drunk in there is drunk but as he says she was made to play ellie like i couldn't imagine any other voice troy baker does a phenomenal job playing joel okay and you know it's it's just like the game to me is like perfect story wise right you start out the intro, you're playing as Joel's daughter, Sarah, um, who, you know, ends up getting gunned down by a, what, you know, is assumed to be a fire, like, or, actually, I guess it's not really a firefly, it's a military person, um, but, uh, you know, uh, a military officer, and... He has to go through that pain of losing his daughter. 
you know, like he's in, you know, you really, you get put in the mind of Joel in that intro, you're like, okay, well, this is what happened to him, and then he meets Ellie, and he's like, he gets a second chance for for a daughter. Uh, start sorry, daughter. Um, and like at first, you know, they're both cold to each other. You know, Ellie's like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't want to be with him. Um, you know, I don't want to go with him. I want to stay with oh, what the fuck? I can't even remember what her name is. Um, Marceline, I believe. Um, I want to save Marceline, you know, let me, uh, stay with her, and then, you know, it's like, no, Joel's gonna take you, Joel's gonna take care of you, and, you know, take you to the St. Mary's Hospital, um, or to the Fireflies, and, you know, Joel doesn't even want to do it, you know, he doesn't want to have to watch out after another kid, he doesn't want to be responsible for another kid, because he already feels like he's failed, as a like a father figure with Sarah um so you know you already have that dynamic at the beginning of the story and over time um you know with Tess's death you know that kind of that kind of it doesn't really spark like it it kind of it's a little spark like a tiny flame but it doesn't really get anything going until you get to like you know Bill you know, you, you find Bill, you go, you get a truck, you get ambushed by those people, you know, and then, like, that near-death experience really kind of, it gets them a little bit closer, but not too much, right? And then, oh, you got, like, they start growing a little bit more, and, you know, Ellie is more open to Joel and starts telling Joel like things that she's never told anyone and you know she brings up she's like well I'm not going to be like Sarah and that really kind of gets it going and I think the first time Ellie saved Joel's life kind of got that relationship kick started and then you guys really see it like when she goes to uh well I believe it's Jackson um wherever Tommy and uh, Maria are staying, you know, they're at that dam, um, and Joel wants Tommy to take, uh, Ellie, and Ellie's scared, she, now she doesn't want to leave Joel, you know, uh, first it was, well, she didn't want to go with Joel, now she doesn't want to leave Joel, okay, so then Joel decides, you know what, we're gonna do this, um, and that really, like, that gets the whole thing going. And, you know, Joel's really grown with this girl. And, like, that gift, like, I can't remember what Ellie got. I think it was a picture of Sarah, like, taped back together. Or, whatever. no, it was a pic, it was just a regular picture of Sarah. It was the one that Tommy was going to give Joel. And Joel didn't take it, but then Ellie did. And, uh, you know, I felt like that really, like, showed okay well this relationship is like a complete father and daughter uh kind of thing going on here and uh you know then at the end of the game you know you see joel have to make this like like just terrible decision of do i want the second chance at like a normal life that Tommy promised, you know, um, do I want a second chance of having a daughter figure to watch over, you know, I've gone this far and I've grown this much with, and I've grown so close to this person, am I ready to let that go for a possible cure? And obviously the answer is no, you know, he saves Ellie, and we see that happening, but the whole thing I love is just the character like, the depth, the growth, the, the development of Joel and Ellie, you know? And there's none of that in the second one. The whole reason why everyone loved the first one was the relationship. And, like, 
you know, there's just, oh, I forgot about the part where Joel sa saves Ellie from David, but, like, there's none of that in this game, which, I mean, like, it's okay, but then, you know, you have some chick, literally, we were introduced 40 minutes into the game already, not even that, like, an hour, an hour and a half into the game, and you finally introduce this chick, right? And, um, you know, she just fucking kills this character that you spent, like, 40 hours with, right? Like, you, you spend a whole ass game with the person that was the face of the first game, and, you know, like, the big the big main protagonist of the game, of the like the first one, she just comes in and kills him. That's like, I don't know if you guys ever watched The Office, it's like D'Angelo killing off Jim. Or, um, if Whiplash, if Whiplash killed Iron Man, or uh, Captain America. You remember Whiplash from Iron Man 2? Yeah, that guy? Or, no, 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 I have a better, I have a better one. The, the play actor of the Mandarin kills Captain America. Boom. That, that, that's what that's like right there. That's what Abby is to Joel. Abby is literally that, that fucking, that little shit guy that plays as the Mandarin. The whole Iron Man 3 movie. And is useless, except like, oh, he gave him a boat. That is what Abby is to Joel. Joel is literally like... Actually, I feel like Iron Man is more of the face of Marvel than Captain... But you get my point. That's what... that That's what that's like. So... You know, you have this chick who I don't even think was in the trailers, right? So, she she kills Joel. Okay, it's like, alright, so this is a revenge story, right? And you go to Seattle, you know? Um, well, first you're, you're trying to, you look for Tommy, but you're also trying to find Abby at the same time. And then, you know, Dina, like, the, the whole Dina thing was, you know, kind of cool. Like, oh, you know, Dina wants to come with, but, you know, she's pregnant, she's a little sick, so, like, she needs to stay in. Oh, here comes Jesse, saves our life. Um... But, you know, he needs to stay back. We go, um, find Nora, you know, beat the shit out of her, and, you know, and we start finding out things, and we find out where Abby is, you know, and or where we thought, you know, the uh, aquarium, and you go there, Owen, and Mel, and kill them. You go back, and it's like, alright, well, we're leaving. And... You know, this guy who survived, like, who knows how many fucking patrols, right? Um, you, he, he survived a gunshot to the fucking leg, right? Um, hotwired a car while getting shot at by, like, 50,000 wolves. Um, and, like, drove into a fucking... Sorry, my mic decided to uh, turn off. Anyway, and like lived, drove into a fucking lake, right? Um, guy runs out of the door, immediately gets shot dead. This bitch just killed him, right? Like, no fucking. No fucking. We, no one was ready for that, really. And. You know, um, just Jesse's death was like, yeah, you know, kind of sucked. But it's like, it's like, it's just like when Marvel killed off Quicksilver, right? He was, he was good. You liked him for like 20 minutes, right? Because he was good for 20 minutes. Um, then he died. Just done. That's like what Jesse was. Okay. So, if they would have incorporated him more into the game, 
then maybe you know you get more of an emotional attachment and more like it's more of a shock than just oh yeah Jesse's dead you know so there there's already that like it's just not you know um and then you know uh Tommy sitting there on the ground like don't don't get up yada yada and then all of a sudden Abby starts yelling things boom black screen oh what's happening um you know are we going to have a flashback to an Ellie moment or something you know is Ellie about to do something really cool where she just like black out did someone come up behind her and beat the shadow of her that we didn't see um did Abby shoot her what happened oh no 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 None of those things. Not, you know, the Naughty Dog is like, oh, this, this is an Ellie game, right? Yeah? No. Some chicks yelling through the forest. Dad, dad. Oh. I wonder who they, this could be. Four years earlier. Oh, hey, look. It's the, uh, the chick that just, uh, killed the beloved character of the whole, the whole, uh, Last of Us franchise, you know, that they have going here. Oh, we're supposed to we're supposed to feel bad for. Her. Oh, oh, sorry, I, f I forgot to leave my tissue. I I left my tissues and I don't give a fuck, Land. What were you thinking, Naughty Dog? Oh, well, Abby had a tragic st tragic life. She had a tra tragic childhood. What do you fucking do? So did I. You don't see me going out killing people's father figures. I mean, yeah, I understand it's not a zombie apocalypse. I mean, might as well fucking be right now. But why would you, why would you think I care? What in, what in your right mind? What what would make you think? Oh, she she lost her dad. Oh man. Oh, so as like almost literally everyone else. Okay, people fucking die. Oh, Joel, Joel killed her dad. I'm supposed to feel Joel killed a lot of fucking people. Abby, I'm sure, has killed a lot of fucking people. Everyone in that whole fucking organization, I am sure as shit, has killed a lot of fucking people. But no, you want me to, you want me to feel bad about this chick. No. No. Not for one fucking second. But no, no, no. Okay. In order to progress the story, you have to play as Naughty Dog is force feeding you this. And you guys know, I did not I hated every fucking second of playing as that useless bitch Abby you guys know I expressed it deeply the hatred I had for that whole that felt like it was three quarters of the fucking game playing as Abby You know, you had you had the the like one sixteenth of the game playing as Joel, right? You had what felt like the like, I uh, you know fractions, um, the f what the four, yeah, still a quarter I guess when you take it down four sixteenths of the game playing as playing as a uh, Ellie. Then the rest of it's just Abby, you know. Uh, yeah. That whole thing pissed me off. What makes you think, Naughty Dog, that I want to play and feel and like you're trying to make me feel bad for this chick that killed like my I'm you know 
I Ellie's my favorite character, but Joel is like real. I mean, it, it's close. It's literally like tie. I love Joel. I love Troy Baker. His voice was, you know, it was per like everything about the whole Joel thing worked. Okay, everyone loved Joel. I don't think there was a lot of people except Anita Scarhesian. Apparently, did Neil Neil Druckmann didn't. Ah, uh, yeah. So you're you're force feeding me, Abby, and you know you know plays Abby plays Abby. Okay, you know mindless mindless playthrough of playing as Abby. Oh, um, we run across this uh fucking scar group. Oh, we get to the, the FOB, yada yada, talk to, what the fuck, oh, Owen's gone, whoa, go to the aquarium, flashback, find no one at the aquarium, um, you know, oh, I'm gonna go away, alright, yada, I, I honestly, I barely gave a fuck about that whole thing, I forgot the line of events, all I remember is, Getting caught, uh, getting tied up, leaving. Uh, oh, yes, that's how it went. We escaped, right? We left the kid and her sister with the fucked up arm in a trailer, and then you go and sleep with Owen. And then you're like, oh, guilt, because I killed everyone's favorite character in this game. Well, I'm gonna go help these kids that no one really cares about. That no one gives two fucks about. Oh, they're not- they're not here? Oh, they are. Okay, well, I'm gonna go help, you know, get them help. Because I know a nurse. Oh, we don't have the supplies? Okay, you know. Oh. Everyone on my own fucking squad hates me because I went AWOL run away go back to the aquarium this bitch is amputated oh her brother ran away well, I guess we should care now even though I never did still didn't still don't care but here we go to an island oh we saved the brother oh but the chick dies we run away. Oh look, your fuck buddy and his pregnant girlfriend wife thing are dead. So is the dog. Oh, looks like vengeance. Go find the chick who did it, even though you literally killed her father figure. And I cannot stress this enough. Basically, everyone's favorite fucking character in this game. Oh, you found her. Cool. What do we do now? Oh, get this. Get this, right? We shoot. Everyone's... We, we shoot Joel's brother. Right in the head. Bah! Bah! Done. Or, or, or so you think. We don't know yet. Never clarified, right? Oh, hey. You know that bitch just, just killed all of our friends? Let's go hunt her down. Oh, wait. No. You, you mean... You mean you don't want to do that? Why? Why? You're, t you, you're telling me that we said... That she, you were gonna play as her the whole game? Oh no, you you must be, you must be thinking of someone else. Because we at uh, Naughty Dog, you know, we like to fuck you over. Um. No. No. What we really meant is we want you to, we want you to beat the shit out of this chick that you 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 love. You know, you're playing as the chick that just killed your favorite character. Now, you're gonna beat the shit out of that dude's daughter, basically. Oh, you don't want to do that. Well, that's too bad for you. You have to do it to advance the story. Alright, do that. Oh. You know what? Just out of the kindness of my heart... You know, just out of the kindness of my heart, 
you know, the heart that I didn't have when I killed your father figure, I'ma let you go. The fuck? Alright. Whatever. Okay. Part, you know, hate the game some more. But, you know, at least we're still alive. On a farm. Chilling out. Oh, hey, Tommy's still alive. That's good, isn't it? No. Go trip. You were supposed to kill that bitch. You said vengeance, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Okay. No. Dina doesn't want you to leave. If you leave, she's leaving. She's not going to be back. She's not going to worry about you no more. She doesn't want to have to worry about you no more. So if you go and hunt down this chick, she's gone from your life. But hey, at least you helped Tom. At least you killed this chick. You got vengeance for Joel. It all it, that all pays that all pays for itself right there, Dina. Yeah, okay. You can go without that if you can just live with yourself. You know you're having PTSD. You're having these nightmares. If you do this, everything, everything works out. Maybe not the Dina part. Maybe you can work it out. Who knows? But go after. Her. Oh hey, you're playing as that bitch that you hate. Oh, hey, she's looking for the fireflies? Alright, go through an abandoned house. Oh, you found out where it is. Climb out. Oh, captured. Alright. Well, look, you was right on your shit. Or so we thought, because it, it was a month later. But the game, you know, the game didn't want to tell you that. The game wanted to make you think. Oh, you got trapped. Oh, you're swinging from a tree. Oh, he got stabbed in the side. But it's okay. Because these two guys are coming after you. They're coming up to tie you down. Oh, this guy's making funny. Oh, push him into a clicker. Oh, he got bit. It doesn't matter. Because you're immune, right? Right. So. This, this guy tells you where Abby is, right? So we're going through rattlers. Basically just wolves again. But, you know, who cares? Who's, who's counting? So, we got knockoff wolves we have to kill. Get into the prison. Prison break. Oh, you know where Abby is. She's at the pillars. She could be dead. Well, that's good, you know. As long as she's dead, that's good. Oh, no, she's still alive. Okay. Well, you're bleeding profusely because your stitches did something. Um, but you got this bitch. And her scope. She might as well be fucking dead, right? Cut down the other dude. No one really cares about the kid. Cut down the kid. Take the boats. Oh, looks like you're going separate ways. Okay. Don't like that. No. No, no, no. Not one bit. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Thinking about Joel. Oh, wait. She's turning around. She said, you can't leave. I'm not going to let you leave. Oh, shit. This bitch about to get it. Mike Tyson knocked out. We're beating the shit out of this chick. You know, she's not her best, but who, who fucking cares? All we care about is her dying on the spot. Fucking dead. No, nothing. I care about nothing else. No morals, nothing. This bitch has to die. You buy off her fucking nose. That's that's not what happens. That doesn't happen. But you know, or fucking her fingers, an eye for an eye, fingers for fingers. You got her in the water. Don't know how her lung capa her lung capacity is like a full level GTA San Andreas style. She's like you know you got she got cheats on. But that doesn't matter. She she has to be three seconds away from dying. Oh, you're thinking about Joel? Well, we all are. Just to fucking end it. No. You, you can't. You're gonna... You, you're gonna what? You're gonna what? You're gonna let her go? You're gonna let her... After what she did? 
hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Joel's death, not only for nothing, other than a shock factor, not only that, Ellie just risked not only her whole ass life bleeding out her fucking fingers her her what her, her ring and pinky finger that she played guitar with well, it was her left right yeah it was her left her left to the, the pinky and the ring finger risked her left rinky rinky you know you know you know what I meant but she she risked losing JJ and Dina for nothing for, for nothing for nothing you guys hear that you guys hear those hear hear the for nothing at all Ellie just did all of that for nothing other than make the game longer that's it just to you know make them feel you know hey you guys you guys thought it was over huh no 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 we're gonna make you do some more shit but guess what this time it's for nothing again sorry no you, you guys thought, you guys really thought you were going to kill this chick, huh? No. No. <laughs> no. You really thought that, huh? No. You thought wrong. What you were thinking was what, uh, what the old Naughty Dog would have thought, right? No. But now that we've evolved into this feminist, dumb, like, Whatever the fuck this is. We're not gonna kill off this chick. No. Hell, we might even put her in the third one. We might make her the main character. Ellie might die the next one. We might make Ellie sacrifice herself for Abby. We really made you think, didn't we? Thank you for your 60 bucks, you dumb shit. Hope you enjoy fucking watching two girls have sex in a fucking basement while smoking weed. I hope you enjoy this dude banging a she-male. I hope I hope you enjoyed a a, a a senseless story, a just overall horrible story. But thank you for the sixty bucks. Yeah, we'll take it all day. Um, yeah, the story was off. Maybe may okay. There there was some good parts, but other than like. Mostly just all the Ellie things. And some of those things just weren't even, like... You know... Like, it's just... You know... We dragged Dina along. She's pregnant. Well, now I feel bad. Because she could fucking die. Boom, there goes the baby. Oh, Jesse's here now? Oh, well, Jesse, you know... What if Jesse dies? Oh, wait, he does. Well, you know... Eh... I guess. Jesse's not pregnant, but you know. Oh, but but you're supposed to feel bad for killing Mel. The fuck I I don't know Mel. I haven't spent spent a quarter of the game getting to know Mel, have I? No. No. You're supposed to feel bad, aren't you? No. No, Naughty Dog. 
I don't feel bad. Yeah, I think the, like I said, I think the only person I felt bad for killing was Owen. I, like, really. <sighs> Owen didn't even want, like, he just wanted... to to be a firefly again. Owen didn't even want to kill Joel. He didn't want the re he didn't want revenge like Abby did. He just thought after a while, you know, it's over like it's done. What's done is done. Just leave it. We can build a whole new life. Owen just wanted another you know, another start. That's that's the reason why I feel bad for killing Owen. He didn't want any of that towards the end. Like, he just, you know, Abby, you're going to tell me that Abby wanted that the whole time? No, bullshit. Abby wanted revenge the whole time. The whole time. Because if she didn't, I'd be talking about a different game right now. So... Yeah. This game's an Ellie game. Bullshit. My white ass. It's not an Ellie. It's an Abby game. You you force fed Abby to us. Which made us hate her more. Like, if we didn't already hate her. But everyone's like, oh, you, you know, you, you guys hate Abby because she's a woman. No. We hated Abby because she killed everyone's favorite character. I don't, like, I honestly don't know anyone who played through The Last of Us. Maybe Anita Scar Scarhesian. Who hated Joel. I don't even think, I don't even think everyone at Naughty Dog hated Joel. I think everyone, except Anita Scarhesian, hated Joel. Because, yeah. No, I hated Abby because she killed Joel. I hated Abby because we had to feel bad for her. That's what... And if we didn't, we're, we're terrible people. We're, we're insensitive people. No. We didn't like... We, we didn't feel bad for her. Because she killed Joel. Oh, I know. And then, guess we get this. You made you made us play as her. None of us cared enough to play as her. If we wanted to play as her, we would get this, guys. Get this, guys. We would like ask for it. And I know you're thinking, well, how are you supposed to know if you want, you know, if you wanted to play as Abby or not? If you want, if you even wanted Abby. Well. Interesting. Because, if you guys remember, Last of Us, right? Had a little DLC out left behind. Loved it too. Could have done that. No. Yeah. But who in their right mind, okay, would want to play a character who kills the main protagonist from the first one? I'll answer that question for you. No one. I don't know. I have not watched anything on anyone enjoying playing as Abby. It is. It's terrible. It's like. It is almost. Almost unbearable. I. Like. Oh, I. Dreaded. And I cannot stress that word enough. Dreaded. Playing as Abby. I 
hated it. It sucked. It was so annoying. It just, oh, God. But I did it. I made it through. But it was a real struggle. It was like, I I got into my chair. I fucking loaded the game. I sat there for a second. And I was like, oh, why? Just why? So, you know, some people are like, well, there, there's a petition that's, you know, remake The Last of Us Part Two, and some people are like, well, don't you think that's a little too much? Don't you think that's an overreaction? No, I don't think it's an overreaction at all. I understand the developers worked a long time to make this game like seven this game we've waited for this game for seven years right me not so much okay I mean I didn't wait seven years but you know I still waited quite a bit for it but you wait this long for a game, right? And you're like, oh, this is gonna be great. Everyone was excited. Oh, there's some leaks. Joe might die? Uh, well, I mean, like, die saving up. <laughs> I remember what I was gonna say now about that. Joe's death. Right? I don't know what you guys, when I said earlier, it's just, it, it was pointless other than a uh, shock factor. Here is what I meant, okay? If you guys have not played Red Dead Redemption or Red Dead Redemption 2, um, spoiler alert, if you, like, if you really have not even seen anything, then, like, I don't even know why you give a spoiler alert, you just are not interested in the game anymore, but, because they've been out for a while, but Red Rockstar did this perfectly, which is crazy to think about, that it, like Rockstar is more more known for GTA, you know, for their on like right now for their online stuff, their open world online stuff, than their story. But you know, Red Dead Redemption Two and Red Dead Redemption are not as well known as GTA. But they did this perfectly. John Marston, Red Dead Redemption, dies. To buy his family time. He, he basically sacrifices himself. For. His wife. And his son Jack. And even his son Jack. Gets revenge. It's in the little epilogue. Of the first one. Okay. Even Jack. Gets revenge. Red Dead Redemption 2. Guess what? Arthur Morgan, you played us in the whole game. Dies heroically, saving guess who? John Marston. And his wife. Rockstar did it better. Because, you want to know why, those deaths meant something. They were a sacrifice to keep someone else alive. If Joel would have died to save Ellie, then I would like the death more. Okay? I mean, like, yeah, it sucks. Okay? Like, my favorite character died, but he helped save the uh, like my other favorite character. And then, you know, if Ellie, like, actually went out and got her revenge on that person. Perfect game. Right there. Boom. Last of Us Part 2. Boom. Ship it. Right there. 
that is the game everyone I'm pretty sure would want. Not not what they made. Not what I played. Not what you guys watched. Hopefully. Not that. So yeah. So. I don't blame those people for making a petition to remake Last of Us Part 2. They could have made it way better. Way, way, way better. They could have made Game of the Year shit. Which, you, you know, it might, it might still get Game of the Year. I mean, I, I really fucking doubt it. I think Cyberpunk would definitely... If, if Ghost of Tsushima doesn't get it, because uh, I really think Ghost of Tsushima is going to be a good game, or Cyberpunk, maybe, maybe Spider-Man Miles Morales might get it, who knows, that's another thing too, you guys know, Spider-Man PS4, my favorite game, my favorite superhero, my favorite game on the PlayStation 4, if they would have like a decision, like a good like, Peter, you know, sacrifices his only, like, the only family he has left to save everyone in New York. If Joel would have done, like, some of that shit. Died a heroic death. Not, not die to some fucking she Because she's angry at him. With the fuck, you know, not die, but getting bludgeoned to death by a fucking female with a golf club. I don't know what Abby is, honestly. She's literally, a, I guess, a girl built like a guy. A fucking, in, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Whatever the fuck Abby is. You know, they said, you know, she could possibly be a god. Who knows? Maybe that's why Owen went, hit it from the back. Which, that's kind of gross to think about, but, um, anyway. People have their things, and, you know, I'm not hating, it's just, you know. Um, but, yeah. That's, that's why. That's why right there. That's why the game has gotten so much hate. That is why the game has been asked to be remade and I don't hate on anyone for wanting that I actually support it I hope that Neil Druckmann and you know Naughty Dog get it through their head that no one liked this game IGN dick sucked it to death they rided, they, they rode, sorry, my bad, they rode all over that, that Naughty Dog, Last of Us Part 2 dick. The Washington Post, the guy, a guy reviewed it there, he said, oh, I was ready to hate on the game, but I loved it. Because he's like, I've waited seven years for this game, nothing could do the first one, but this game outdid it. Are you sure we played the first game? Are, are, are you sure we played the same first game, buddy? Are you sure? Do you really call yourself a, a Last of Us fan? If you loved that? No. You... Like... I don't know how someone in their right mind could say that. It doesn't do the first game justice. At all. Not one bit. But you love, like, that. I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, but that's just, like, to say that, you know, you already hate this game. Well, you should have still hated it. If you read the leaks, you should have hated it more, actually. Because then you should have figured out, hey, he just died for, like, no reason. Whew. Man, this video is going on for really long. Um, so, you know, final 
official reaction uh, review. Um, really like four, three and a half out of ten. Gameplay is really good. Um, some like that four is really like reaching. Mostly just on the Ellie, uh, the Ellie play playthrough part, but the it really ruined it for me. Having to play with Abby, having to do that. Um, so yeah. Uh, if we're comparing it to the first game, the uh, the second one doesn't even touch the first game. It shouldn't even be able to be in its presence. Not even brought up in the same breath as the first game that's what i think of the second one so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry it's a little, really long but you guys have my full opinion my full reaction my you know my whole th all my thoughts boom one video um so if i if anyone ever asks what do you think of the last was part two boom here's like an hour long explanation of what I think of The Last of Us Part 2. And I made all my points in there. And you might disagree with all my points. You might not like my review. You might not like my opinion. Your opinion is your opinion. My opinion is my opinion. I think what I said is right. And, you know, I think what I said really uh reflects off the rest of the fan base of the last of us um series so yeah i i think it really reflects off what everyone else has been saying and what everyone else has been thinking and if you guys don't agree with me go watch other people they have they say about the same things that i've said except you know, some of the higher ups, except IGN. Um, Gamer Ranks, I think, even said that the story wasn't really that good, but the gameplay was pretty good. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, um, that's. You know, I don't, unless if they're making a DLC for this part two, uh, that's about it for Last of Us Part 2 content. Uh, this is the last last video, um, unless if they release news on it or something, I don't know, if whatever comes up. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, I'll see you guys in some other videos, and uh, peace out.